This video is about the layer view of the human body. A short review of the theoretical models of the human body that the layer view of the human body is based on will be presented first. According to the particle view of the human body, the human body can be treated as a collection of an infinite number of infinitely small particles. This object was used to represent a particle. This picture shows a small number of the particle objects gathered together in the shape of a human body to provide an example of what the particle view of the human body looks like. The particle view of the human body is not very useful because in order to describe the construction or behavior of the human body, it would be necessary to describe the behavior of every single one of the infinite number of infinitely small particles that comprise the particle view of the human body. If the individual particles of the particle view of the human body were grouped together in some way, they could be dealt with more efficiently and more usefully. Any method of grouping the particles together that reduce the infinite number of particles into a more manageable number of objects would be more efficient and more useful. The simplest organized way to group particles together would be to place them one in front of the other as shown in this picture. The object that is formed by connecting single particles together in this fashion can be called a fiber. A familiar example of a fiber would be the thread used for sewing clothes. According to the fiber view of the human body, the human body can be treated as a collection of an infinite number of infinitely thin fibers. The very thin rectangular box in this picture was used to represent a fiber. This picture shows a small number of the fiber objects gathered together in the shape of a human body to provide an example of what the fiber view of the human body looks like. The fiber view of the human body is more useful than the particle view of the human body because it is more efficient to discuss the human body in terms of a relatively small number of fibers than in terms of a relatively large number of particles and because a fiber has characteristics and properties that a particle does not. The fiber view of the human body has the same weakness as the particle view of the human body. Discussion of the human body that requires describing the behavior of an infinite number of infinitely thin fibers is slow and cumbersome. If grouping particles together into a fiber made discussion of the human body more efficient and useful, it seems reasonable to believe that grouping fibers together in some way would produce an object that was more efficient and useful when used to discuss the human body. A simple organized way to group fibers together would be to place them next to each other so they all lay in the same plane. Here is the thin rectangular box used to represent a fiber. This picture shows a small number of the fiber objects placed next to each other and oriented in the same direction. The fibers are then moved adjacent to each other which gives them the appearance of one solid object. This solid object fits the definition of the word layer. A layer is an object that has a relatively large width and length with a relatively small height. According to the layer view of the human body, the human body can be treated as a collection of an infinite number of infinitely thin layers. This picture shows a rectangular grid of the layer objects. A human body is positioned next to the grid of layers in this picture. The human body is then moved into the center of the grid of layers. This overhead view of the two objects verifies that the location of the human body is in the center of the grid of layers. Next, all of the layers that lay outside of the boundaries of the model human body are removed. What remains is a grid of layers in the shape of a human body. This picture demonstrates the layer view of the human body. The camera then slowly circumnavigates the collection of layers to verify they form the complete shape of a human body from all viewing angles. This example of the layer view of the human body used a grid of flat rectangular layers to make the demonstration simple and clear. The actual layer patterns within the human body 
are much more complex than flat rectangular layers. Because a layer is created from fibers, a layer has all of the characteristics and properties of a fiber. That would imply that, like the fiber view of the human body, the layer view of the human body would be especially useful in explaining the concept that the human body is one large interconnected piece and explaining how any stimulus of any part of the human body will have some effect on every other part of the human body. The other ways in which the layer view of the human body can be used to provide insight into the construction and behavior of the human body will be presented in future videos of this series.